Welcome back. We continue to get reaction after the conviction of former President Trump. Joining us now is former North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Give me your initial reaction here uh, to this verdict. I'm, uh, I'm sad for our country uh, because it further exposes the divisions that we have within our country. I think the closest I can remember this type of division, maybe from a court trial, is the O.J. Simpson trial, which just exposed the divisions and the differences that we have. I think the second issue I have is I'm afraid we're politicizing, especially local and state DAs with federal issues. And I'm afraid there could be more exposure of uh, political DAs, which they are politicians, um, taking suit against people of the opposing party. It could happen with the Republican DAs in the future regarding federal elections and as it's now happening with a local DA uh, regarding a past federal election. And so, that's, that's very dangerous precedent. Clearly, the president is still campaigning his way through all of this. And while there might be political motivations, uh, of course, this was a jury of his peers who, uh, who declared him guilty on all 34 counts. How are voters supposed to internalize that as they decide, even supporters of the, of the former president now? I, I think there's going to be a lot of confusion. I'm not sure. I think the, the deciding votes will be the independent votes and maybe those votes who are dissatisfied with both candidates. I was a part of No Labels, which showed 65 percent of the people were dissatisfied with both candidates. So I think we're unsure at this point in time how this will impact uh, the presidential election. I think a lot's going to happen between now and uh, November. But I think there's a lot of confusion, a lot of suspicion. and. Um, that's not healthy for, our, for our, our great country, which is still an experiment. And I want this experiment to succeed and uh, lower the rhetoric and, um, and uh, do the best we can. And I think we're the best country in the world, but I think this, again, mm -hmm. exposes the divisions that we have. Uh, and Governor McCrory, I have 10 seconds for you. Do you plan to uh, vote for former President Trump? One thing I've decided to do, I'm going to keep my uh, vote a secret ballot for once in my life. I'm never running again. Okay. Um, I like the concept of secret ballot, especially this cancel culture that we have on both sides of the Thank aisle. You. Thank you so much.